Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to diagnose and repair P0202 for injector number two. So this code is for injector number two. First of all, you need to locate the injector number two. When you are numbering the injectors, you start from the front side. So it's gonna be injector number one, two, three, four. So we need to locate and work on injector number two. So let's uh, disconnect the connector first. There is a lock over here. You need to release a top lock and disconnect the injector connector. On the injector itself, I can check the internal resistance. So for that, just grab your multimeter, select the resistance. You have two props. You need to measure the resistance across those two pins on the injector. So as you see, my reading is 1.7, which is okay. It's exactly within the range. There is nothing wrong with the resistance. So for your car, you may need to check the workshop manual for the specification, but normally uh, the resistance value is not that much high. All right, let's go for checking the wiring on the injector. The second step is gonna be checking the voltage on the wiring. These injectors, these GDI injectors are different from the MPI. So we are not expecting any battery voltage on each one of these two wires. Two wires are connected directly to the ECM. Ignition switch is on right now. Let's see what's we're gonna get. So multimeter on the voltage. I'm gonna check the voltage of each pin with body ground. I'm checking the high side right now, the pink wire with the body ground. You see the voltage is 160 millivolt, which is almost nothing. And on the second one, on the low side, again, I'm getting something even less. So this is the low side just five millivolt, and on the high side, I'm getting 160 millivolt. Both of them are gonna give you millivolts really low, so you shouldn't expect any voltage on each of these wiring. When you check the injector wiring on the injector side, if you don't get proper value, the problem could be from the wiring between the injector to ECM or ECM itself. But we don't know which one is faulty right now. That's why we need to disconnect the connector on the ECM side, like just what I did. And you need to check the wiring between here to the injector number two as well to make sure if the wiring is not okay or the problem is coming from the ECM. So for doing this, as you see on the screen, injector number two is connected to the ECM with two pins. And as you see, the wire colors are already changed on the ECM side. So the pink is already turned to the blue and the blue is turned to the green. But I do have the pin number. The first one, pin number three, this is my connector. As you see, the pin number three is exactly uh, this one. I can find the pins locations by having a look at the connected details on the wine diagram, or I can just have a look at here. This is pin number one, it's written one. So this is gonna be two, number three, uh, you can back prop or if you are using this kind of props, they are really thin. They're not going to damage the uh, female pin. Oh, so I'm going to use it from here. And as you remember, wire color is blue. This is the blue, dark blue. Number three, this is the wire that I'm after. For checking the wiring from here, I grab my multimeter. I select resistance. I put it on the continuity because at the same time I can hear the beeping sound for the continuity and I can read the value as well for the high resistance. On multimeter I have two props. One prop should be here. The other one on the injector wiring should be on the pink wire because as I said this end is blue. The other end of this wiring is pink. One end here. The other end on injector number two pink wire or pin number two. So as you see, I hear the continuity sound. It means that there is no open circuit and I can read the value as well, showing that there is no high resistance. So this is for checking the open circuit, but of course there is another common fault, which is short to ground for making sure that the wire is not shorted to ground. Again, you use the same function, but this time you use one end of the multimeter right here on one connector, the other end on the body ground. So you select a good body ground, and as you see, there is no continuity, which means this wire is not shorted to the ground. So for the other wire, low side, 
on this connector it's pin 66 and if I look at here this is exactly pin 64 65 66 uh, this is gonna be my pin and again two props one here but but this time this is gonna go on pin number one of the injector blue wire on injector number two so as you see I hear the continuity sound it means that there is no open circuit and I can read the value as well showing that there is no high resistance and again for this wire if you want to check the short circuit one end over here and the other end of the multimeter on body ground there shouldn't be any continuity or resistance when you are checking the wiring if you find any open circuit short circuit it means the problem is from the wiring you need to just chase the wiring back find it and fix it if there is nothing wrong the problem could be from the ECM you shouldn't forget to check the wires and pins inside the connector as well because sometimes the problem is from the connector thank you very much guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video